how much is is good enough you know for an IT investment but because the biggest risks in IT investment is actually overspending Once again, Strathmore Business School. So we're just having our tea. The time is uh, 4:07 in the afternoon. So we have an MBA class tonight that will start at 5:30. So we're just uh, reviewing our notes. At the same time, reading our case uh, before we engage the students again in a case discussion. So, our topic this evening is actually about uh, IT infrastructure and uh, emerging technologies. All right. So. The key issue here that we're going to discuss, that we're going to present to the students is uh, why it is difficult to choose or to select hardware and software for the organization and why is it a, a very important management decision. Right? And since a difficult, it is a difficult decision, there are some technological, organizational, and management issues that we need to consider before investments are made for hardware and software. Alright? Another key issue that we're going to discuss actually in this case is... classic question how much okay how much is is good enough you know for an IT investment but because the biggest risks in IT investment is actually overspending so yeah it is an issue that we need to consider we need to discuss later how how do we justify for example a Two billion Kenya shilling investment on ICT infrastructure. All right. So I'm expecting again a very dynamic, exciting case discussion, right, with my MBA students. So yeah. So that is our topic. Let's. Last week we discussed about the yeah, information system, the organization, and the strategy, and how information system and IT in general complements the business strategy and enables the the company to be competitive vis-a-vis -vis existing competitors and you know aspiring new entrants all right so those are the things that we discussed last time we de demonstrated we demonstrated the concept the topic using a case called otis elevator case okay so otis as you may not know is a very large multinational company operating in almost 200 countries okay and at the time of the case it is already 150 years old so just imagine how difficult to you know, it, will it be to to change the culture 
of such an organization have been, been in existence for 150 years. All right. So that was uh, the topic. But nevertheless, they were successful in implementing two major information system projects because of the support of top management, of course, specifically the CEO of the company. All right? That's another takeaway for, for these lessons for the MBA. For large projects that will have an impact in, in strategy and operation, it is important for the CEO to be involved. All right? Otherwise, if it is the IT department who is pushing the agenda, well, it would be difficult, if not impossible. So for today, we're going to discuss the case Equity Bank. So my, my wife and I, Dr. Arlene, wrote this case. So we documented the experience of Equity Bank in adopting, implementing their core banking system called Finacle system way back in 2005 all right 2005 so at that time equity bank has just uh, shifted can we call it shifted uh, from just a microfinance to a commercial bank okay so at the time of the case they were about to spend say one billion kenya shillings and frankly they have no money the bank has to borrow money just to spread the, their expenses okay so that's another risk by the way why you would why would you borrow money just to implement an ICT infrastructure, right? Well, anyway, there are many things that can be used from the case to justify uh, those expenses, and uh, somehow give some comfort for a manager to take that kind of risks, all right? So those are the things that we're going to discuss today. And of course, uh, in addition, we're going to discuss also uh, some complementary assets that we need to put in place so that IT or ICT uh, infrastructure investment would add value. Okay? How can we optimize return from our ICT infrastructure? So that's it. So that will be our topic for today. Uh, yeah. So we expect a lively, exciting uh, discussion again this evening. So this is Dr. Freddy once again. Uh, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you want this kind of content, click that notification bell so that now you are always updated whenever we have new videos all right and don't forget to like and share as well be blessed everyone enjoy the rest of your day